Hello, my name's Julian Edgar, and I'm the author of the book you see in front of you, Car Electrical and Electronics Systems. What I want to do in today's video is talk about a four channel car sound amplifier that you can build yourself. Now, very rare these days for people to build their own amplifiers when amplifiers are so cheap, but this particular design has got benefits in terms of it being compact, in terms of it being fan cooled, in terms of it being relatively lightweight and having very good sound. So let's have a look at what components are actually in it. Well, before we do that, here's an external view. Not much there, is it? I actually made this aluminium case. So the, the heat sinks, which are the end panels, are actually form part of the case. You could also build it into an old car sound amplifier if you didn't want to build your case. Uh, the fan cooling is very important. The components that it's made from, well, you need two of these boards. Now, as it says up the top, and I've actually used the eBay search terms to make it easy to find them, an assembled LM3886 a dual channel stereo audio amplifier board. Now, the LM3886 uh, chips are the ones that you can see, the two chips that will end up being attached to heat sinks. It's an oldie but a goodie. I've used them in home car, home sound amplifiers as well. They're only 68 watts plus 68 watts, but the trick is that they're really clean. They've got very low distortion. And in fact, they sound far better than amplifiers, you know, 200 watts per channel, if that 200 watts has also got 5 or 10% distortion. Now, would you drive subwoofers with only 68 watts per channel? No, you typically wouldn't, but it's for uh, driving normal six inch two ways, things of that sort, component speakers, split speakers, and as I say, four channels. Now, each of these modules is only two channels, so you need two of these boards to, to run the four channels. Now, normally, these require an AC power supply because they've got plus or minus rails. They haven't just got plus rails, and they need a lot more than 12 volts. So how do you actually provide that? Well, it's achieved by this particular board. It's a switching boost power supply board. It takes DC 12 volts from your car battery, and it turns it into plus or minus 20 to 32 volts, which is what we need to run those previous amplifier boards. So this is the secret that takes the 12 volts and turns it into plus or minus rails at a higher voltage than 12 volts. I also, as I say, run fan cooling, and here's the little module I use to control that fan, 20 to 90 degrees C, DC 12 volts thermostat, and you can set the temperature by the position of those little switch uh, indicators that you can see there, the red ones. So the amplifier I actually built into a case that I folded up myself from aluminium. The panel that's closest to you and the panel that's closest to my thumb in this shot are actually the two heat sink panels. And I just used a thick aluminium plate, eight or 10 millimeters thick aluminium plate. Didn't need to fin it because I've got fan cooling. And so long as we get plenty of airflow through, then it runs quite cool, even under high loads. What's it look like inside the box? Well, at the top, you can see the fan and uh, hidden under the bottom left hand panel, the uh, bottom left hand module, there's a hole in that panel so the airflow can come through. We can see the two uh, amplifier modules and then the power supply module and really it's just a case of wiring them together and adding input wires and external speaker wires. It really is dead easy to actually wire the complete uh, amplifier together. Here's the view of the uh, power supply module, and you can see that it needs to have a uh, heat sink uh, connected to its output transistors. And here we can see one of the amplifier modules on the left, and you can see its output transistors, those LMs, have been connected to that uh, thick aluminium plate as well. The book's called Car Electrical and Electronic Systems. That four channel amplifier is covered in it. I run it every day uh, in my, my car and I've been very, very pleased with its performance. As I say, it's not kilowatts of output, but it's very clean and a compact, uh, easy to make amplifier. My name's Julian Edgar. The book's called Car Electrical and Electronic Systems. Thank you.